great Thursday evening and the Lord had me do this over again and I'm just going to follow whatever he tells me to share but we are in the fourth chapter of Romans and of course being the first day of October we would be in Proverbs 1. So, of course, in the fourth chapter of Romans, it's talking about faith. And I have to ask, uh, maybe someone is up and they're wrestling with a situation. Maybe it's their child. There's um, a video that my professor uh, sh shared with us earlier in the week, and it's pretty popular and it sh it showed this young man in a barber shop and he was getting a haircut and the barbers plural had to hold him down he was acting out um he was in distress and screaming and you know throwing things and throwing a shoe and what have you and you saw the mother in the background and you could tell she was you know, she was a young lady and lacking experience. And you heard people in the barbershop with their criticisms, like, oh, you know, she doesn't have any control. And if that was my child, you know, I would do this and that. Give me a week with him. Or no, better yet, give me a day. There would be no TV, no computers, no nothing. And I'm saying that verbatim. And then she left the shop and then someone, you know, in the background was saying, she needs a man. And someone else said, well, they cursed. But they were just like pouring all this criticism. And I, I thought about it. I was like, that happens multiplied by a thousand every day single parents who feel overwhelmed and the child was just arms all over the place and you know they have now these um different classifications of disorders and of course they're gonna call that now defiant disorder oppositional and i'm like nothing new under the sun well romans 4 would speak to her situation uh when a lot of people would be like, uh, there's no hope for this boy. You know, you might as well just let him, you know, go on in the system and be medicated. Mm -mm. Against hope. Who did this? Abraham believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. Against statistics, that mother has to believe that God has a plan for that boy, that God has a plan there's nothing by accident. He allowed that child to come into being and to have life, right? So what are we to do when we're in situations like this and we're in over our head? Verse 20, he, Abraham, staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And God will have us to do the same thing in whatever situation that we might find ourselves. To be fully persuaded that what he had promised, he will perform. And it has to be that our faith is rooted and grounded. If we believe on him, that raise of Jesus our Lord from the dead, the Lord can raise up our situation so that we can come out victorious. He will raise us up. He'll raise our faith. He will increase it, even in the situation. So what I have to say is no matter what is the situation that you feel like, oh my goodness, what can I do? The Lord has a plan and he will give us knowledge, understanding, and he will guide us for the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's the starting point. If we respect our Heavenly Father and look to Him, He'll guide us and He'll show us and we can have peace in every situation. Yeah. And that's in Proverbs 1. Have a wonderful evening resting in the promises of the Lord.